So lighting is important in any venue and having a cue list makes it easy for any operator to run through pre-programmed lighting cues. But what happens when you don't have time to make pre-programmed lighting cues? Let me show you how we utilize Onyx and our Onyx template to make free wheel lighting a possibility. Let's go. So here's how we use Onyx in our chapel venue to control the lights. So our template here is split up into easy to remember sections. So all colors are adjusted here. Now this is, will change the color of all fixtures on the stage, minus the pixel bars. The pixel bars are controlled via Resolume via a CG. And then every subsequent row changes colors for different sets of fixtures. This row right here is for PARs specifically. This row right here is for the magic panels specifically, so on and so on. And so what the operator can do is begin to blend colors by choosing different ones for each set of fixtures or doing all right up here. And now down here we have house lights, three different house light settings right here. We have a side light setting. Now these are for, uh, uh, this is for front wash right here. And then we have a few other uh, movement settings over here. So a couple movement cue lists for our moving lights. And then these are gobos for our moving lights as well. So now you can look down here at the M play. This is essentially the lighting controller, the light switch for the different sets of fixtures. So you'll notice on stage right now, nothing is lit up and we just have house lights on at full. So the very first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to choose house, let's just say house video, because right now it's set for the darkest mode. I'm touching that, you can see it launching. Now the house lights have gotten much darker. So what I'm gonna do, is look at our in play down here. You can see that some of these are tagged with different fixtures. So LED right here, we're gonna go ahead and press the button above that to turn it on. So that launched the cue. However, you'll see nothing is on stage. We're still missing all of our lights. Here's why. We need to ride this fader up like so. And now you can see we have our top and bottom pars on. And they're currently set to show magenta. And so now if we go back to our colors here, we can look at our par settings here. Let's choose par cyan. So we're gonna look at it and now they're changing to cyan. Let's choose par red. Now they're changing to red. So simple as that, very easy. All right, let's go ahead and turn on our magic panels right here. So we're gonna press the button and then we're going to bring them up. Now the magic panels are on. That's these guys, the square ones, square panels up here. These move also. So magic panels are on and you can see right here, if we choose a different movement setting, let's say center magic panel, we're gonna press it and you'll see the panels beginning to move towards the center position. And then we're gonna go back to spread right here. We can hit spread one time. And you'll notice up here in the corner how it says two out of two right here. That means there are two cues within this cue list. So right now they're on this spread position. I'm gonna hit it one more time. So let's go ahead and hit it. Now you'll see it says one out of two. And you can also see the panels are now moving to spread on the stage a little differently. So that's our magic panels. Now let's head down to the spots. The spots are the moving lights on the side. So we're gonna turn them on. Now we're gonna bring up the fader for them. And they are actually not responding. That's fine, I gotta figure that out why, but we're gonna skip those for now. Now our front wash right here, you'll notice these are a different type of group. There's no on off switch for them. These are just a fader right here. So we're gonna bring that fader up you can see our front wash hitting the stage like so. And then side light right here, that turns on these Lecos over here on the side. So just to show you that, we're gonna go ahead and hit side light. And now the Lecos are on and they are hitting the edges of the stage to get some of that side light front wash on stage. So we're gonna go ahead and turn those off. And now within Onyx, one thing that you do need to remember is that this up here determines what your cursor is gonna do. Your cursor is your finger in this case. So if I want to release a cue, I need to hit release up here and then choose the cue that I wanna release. I'm gonna choose side light. Now you see the play button went away and you'll see the side lights have turned off. Okay, 
But let's say that I want to now launch, um, let's say all white, okay? I'm doing that and nothing's happening. Well, here's why, because I still have this set to release. I now need to go over here to go or custom and hit it. And now you see the play button is there and now we're at all white setting right here. So that is an easy way to remember that. Just remember release to release and the customer go will launch what you're doing here. And one other thing you can remember on these is that each of these buttons down here do certain effects. So you can see uh, this button right here. I'm pressing it. It is giving me a, some strobe on the magic panels up here. This button right here is giving me strobe on the pars. This button right here is doing nothing. So if I press both of these buttons together, it'll give me a full strobe across the stage. So you strobe and release, strobe and release.